so hello everybody it's Gel beauty 87 and today we're going to do an eyeshadow palette comparison or dupe video i should say because i have some stuff from c colors um i actually have a little surprise in this video so but anyway we're gonna um compare the c colors unisex 5 to the lemonade palette as you can see i already have the lemonade palette on this eye right now we're comparing two different foundations as well so i figured we just compare some other stuff too we just gonna pay everything sis how about that um but this is what the what we all know what the lemonade palette looks like this is it um but this is what the unisex palette looks like and as you can see they are the exact same palette even the exact same color story down to every single shade being the exact same spot so um, I was definitely like intrigued. I was like, yeah, we need to try that out. Because if you all saw my Dear Dominique's Cosmetics video, I'll link it above. You saw that this is my Dear Dominique Dominique Cosmetics palette. So I was like, hmm. Since we got um, a new one to try it out. And as you can see, my shade is broken in this one right here. So um, I reached out to the company because they had actually told me a while ago to they had sent me a coupon code to try their products. I was like, okay. So I, they end up having to... Um, sale this month for pride month and i was i mean sorry last month for pride and i was like oh, okay well i'll try out some of their stuff or whatever so i emailed them and told them that like all my shades came broken because literally every palette i bought i bought three palettes and they actually sent me a replacement one so this is the replacement one and as you can see if everything is fine in it so i figured we'd use the damaged one in the video and some one of y'all is gonna get this palette so what we're going to do is we're going to have giveaway time, giveaway time, giveaway, giveaway, giveaway time. So um, you will get this unisex 5 palette, which is a deep for, dupe for the lemonade palette by Dominique Cosmetics. All you have to do is be subscribed to this YouTube channel and then be subscribed to my um, Instagram channel. And then write done on the Instagram picture I will post with this palette in it comparing it to the lemonade palette. But let's get started on this eye because I've already done, as you can see, the lemonade eyes. So... Um, the colors I used, I used the yellow, the orange, I used um, all the shimmers. So I used this shimmer, this shimmer, and this shimmer to create this look you see right here. I meant to darken the outer V with um, this color right here, but that's neither here nor there. We're already on camera now, so we're not going to try to do that now. We're just gonna, yeah, we're going to wing it. Um, so I'm going to start with the... Um, orange color now i didn't swatch the mats in here because as you can see the only one that was um the only ones that were okay were the mats so the shimmers were not uh the shimmers were damaged so i swatched the shimmers they were actually really nice i meant to take a picture of it but i forgot before i wiped off my hand but they felt really soft and nice so i was liking that they are way softer than the ones in her um second palette now her first palette um the shimmers in that one are pretty nice so i'm figuring they should be just as good as the shimmers in this C colors one, but you don't know, we'll see. I did get, uh, like I said, I bought both the Dominique Cosmetics dupe one, and I had bought another one. I didn't realize at the time there was like a Jeffree Star dupe. I just liked the color story in it, but I ended up buying the dupe for the Jeffree Star Androgyny palette, so I'm not going to give that one away because both the um, dupes that showed up with that one showed up with um, a broken shade and it was like the top one right here that ended up broken in both the palettes so I was like that just says to me that that don't need to be in my collection God I don't want this type of negative energy in my makeup space so I'm going to give that one away to my cousins and then the other one since I already have it and I press that shade back in I'm just go ahead and keep it but that one and like the blue shade that was in the corner whatever both of those is broke I'm like yep see God I don't even want this in my negative this in my space because it's negative um <laughs> I'm going to take this yellow color right here, and I'm going to put that over here, because as you can see, I kind of like have that just stepped on this upper part right here. And so far, the colors are looking pretty similar. I want to do kind of like a brighter type eye, because, um, you know, it's summertime, and I know a lot of people like to use these orangey, yellow um, vibes or whatever, so I think I'll give y'all a video with those in today. It's for the people who like stuff like that and actually believe it or not the last two or three times i've done eyeshadow i've done like more um reddish fiery summer looks as opposed to like the crazy colorful ones i did and i did do a crazy colorful look that y'all gonna see while i'm on vacation and i was living for i was here for it it gave me life but like it cut off my eyebrows in the video you will see um and i was kind of in my feelings about it because i was like you know i'm like so if you all want me to refilm it because the eye look is that fire to you like it was me child because i was acting a fool in that video i ain't gonna front and y'all be thinking i'd be acting bad now child 
the intro to that video, you probably just gonna be sitting there laughing like this girl is too much. You need to calm her life down, have several seats, get in order, do something. I don't know. I don't know. So so far so good. I'm liking the way they're blending, and I'm liking the way both of them look. I actually really like the sea colors one just as much as the cursing one so far when it comes to the mats. Now the shimmers and cursings I don't like. I had to glue glitter glue just to make it get as much as pigment as I have now, so I'm kind of like not feeling it. And with hers, I feel like I need to go in the crease and like add some more like in the middle. So I'm gonna just do that to this side just because I don't think I necessarily need it. But since I did it on this side, I'm gonna go ahead and do it on this side too. And hopefully that will help intensify the will. But yeah, I'm gonna just I kind of patted it like this in the crease to get more color because I feel like it had like washed away a bit. And plus, I wanted a little bit down on my lid so you could see that the orange was there. Now I have to like fully open my eyes like that or do something like that in order for you to see it. Which side of my face do y'all like as far as the foundation is going? Because I have on two different foundations, and you will see the foundation video before you see this one. Um, but yeah, so um, I'm personally feeling this side more than this side, but you know, let me know what you think down below. Which foundation you like better? How you feel about these eyes? Because so far, so good. I'm really feeling them. Okay, so the next um, thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put on some glitter glue, and then we're gonna start in all the shimmers I showed y'all. So we're basically doing all the like lighter bright colored shimmers. The two darker ones we're going to leave alone. Even though the green isn't really dark. But you know. It's not really matching the color family or color story that I'm trying to like convey in this video. Sorry I'm trying to get used to like not having this directly in the camera in the way. But I'm like I still need to see. So. My bad. So yeah my alter order came in late. So that's why y'all seen. Y'all going to see the foundation video and all the videos that's coming up today. June the. I want to say it's June the 5th, late. Yes, yeah, June the 5th. So I started off with, I'm going to take my um, Marc Jacobs The Shadow Brush. And I started off with the color um, Pink Lemonade. These don't have one names. So I'm just starting off with this one in the bottom. Then I put this one on top of it. And then I put this one like toward the front inner corner. So you know how when you turn your head, you want to see different colors. So that's what we're going to do now. So I'm going to just start patting this like everywhere. So I basically went like up the middle like where y'all saw me put the glitter like this up like that and I did more of a pattern back toward this way so I'm just trying to mimic it as best I can so these shimmers are, to me get way more glitter and sparkle than the cursings do but next I'm going to go in with this one right here and these are like much softer than hers too I felt like hers were harder pressed and like a more set um gave more satin finish and y'all know from the milk cosmetics stack video I'll link that above how much I hate satin shadows. I just, I don't know what it is. I feel like they don't serve a purpose and they just need to go away. Like, go away and never come back and I'll be totally fine with that. Just leave. <laughs> but yeah, um, then we're going to take the last color which is this peach shade right here and we're going to put that up. So, I'm just stamping that toward the front of the eye like this. See, so when I turn my eyes like this, like, it looks like you got a dual chrome on when you don't. If you don't want to, like, you know, buy dual chrome, that's a, another good way to get you some dual chromish type action. Because it's like when you turn your head, the shade's going to change. Like, see, I'm turning my head, you see the lighter pink, then you see the darker pink on the outer corner. And when I turn my head this way, you see that nice little peach situation. See what I just did there? I made you a dual chrome for free. Girl, you broke my head. <laughs> no, let me go ahead. I'm going to take the orange. Go back in the crease just so it's not so the, um, the shimmer isn't so high up. So I take a little bit more, dip it in, and then kind of go over like this. Plus it gives that like nice orange shadow type situation over the whole eye that I think looks kind of cool. So that's why I'm doing it. But you know, teachers, as long as you don't have to do this step, I just prefer to do it. And see, now they look more even. Okay, so what I think about the Sea Colors palette and what I think about the Kirsten palette. Now, you all, like I said, if you all saw Dear Dominique's cosmetics, y'all know if I'm not a fan of this palette. Like, the mattes in it are fine. Her mattes are always fine. I just felt like these shimmers were hardly pressed and hardly gave any pigmentation off. And I had to do glitter glue and, like, pile it up just to get any kind of pigmentation like I do on this eye right now. I'm not really feeling this eye as much as I'm feeling this one because I feel like the shimmers in this are softer and are, giving, are like, a better formula compared to the ones that one. All her other shimmers are fabulous, wonderful. I would not take anything away from, like, um... The first palette, the latte palette, 
the third palette, the Berries and Cream. I have not got Rusty Glam yet. It is on my list along with her highlighter palette because I want to do a full face of, Curse of Dominique Cosmetics. Cause remember she said you can use the, everything in the palette on your face. So we're going to put that to the test. But I got to get Rusty Glam and the um, highlighter palette first so we can test all that out. So that's what we're waiting on. Okay, but that might be pushed to the back burner because Mother Pat done came in with foundation and it's a wrap. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, this palette... So that's my first time ever using C colors, and I'm really, really, really impressed with this palette. They actually gave me, like I told you all, they had given me a code to like try out the products. So I'm gonna leave that in the description box below because I didn't use it. It's called, for, I think it was first time 10, or it's just first time, and they give you 10% off your order. So I'm gonna leave that down below so you all can buy it. And like I said, I have an extra one because they were gracious enough to send me a new set when they found out this was broken. So, like I said, giveaway time. So what you need to do is. This is not an international giveaway. I'm sorry. Like, we're not doing international right now. Because y'all know I ain't balling like that. Nobody send me nothing. I buy all this stuff. Um, but, I, like I said, you need to subscribe to this YouTube channel. You need to subscribe to JLB87 Instagram. And then type done on the picture that I have posted when this video comes out. So, I won't post this video yet, this picture yet. Because I was going to post it today. But, we're going to wait. Um, no international viewers. I'm sorry, um, I'll try to get y'all around Christmas time when I can get better deals on makeup so I can share with all y'all as opposed to just my U.S. ones, but right now it's just U.S., so you will get this palette for free. I'm um, going to do it two weeks from the time this video goes up, so that means I won't be sending this out till probably like the second week of August or something like that, because I think this video is going up the last week of July. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I would definitely recommend you get your hands on this palette. And one of you all will get your hands on this palette courtesy of me and C Colors for sending me an extra set because this set came broken. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm not saying Kirsten's palettes is bad. Her palettes are wonderful. You should definitely get your hands on them if you can. But if you, for whatever reason, don't have...